Okay, so we're talking about circles. Uh, we're specifically we're going to talk about circumference of circles. So circumference is like the perimeter of a circle. It's the distance around a circle. And we were given, you're given the formula C, which stands for circumference, equals 2 times, the symbol, remember, means pi times R. R stands for the radius. You should have learned from watching the videos yesterday that the radius of a circle goes from the middle of the circle to the edge of the circle. So in this circle right here, we can see that our radius is 10 centimeters. And what we're going to do is we're going to use this formula. The one thing I want you to know about pi, so pi is a number. Pi is the number 3.14159 blah, 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 blah. That number goes on and on and on. We're just going to use 3.14. So pi and 3.14 are going to be the same thing for our purposes. And we're going to do this. So to figure out their circumference of this circle right here, we're going to do 2 times 3.14. So instead of pi, I put 3.14 times our radius which is 10 centimeters. Now, we're home, we're stuck at home, we're not in the classroom. If, if you want to use a calculator for these, you can, it's fine. I'm not going to be particular. But if you didn't use a calculator, the smart way to do this would be to multiply the whole numbers first. Because remember, when you multiply in order, it doesn't matter. So I would do 2 times 10 is 20, and then I'm going to do 20 times 3.14. So I come over here, 3.14 times 20, uh, 0 times everything, 0, then 2 um, times 4 is 8, 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 3 is 6. There's one two digits after the decimal in the original problem, so one two digits in, in our answer. So it's just going to be 62.8. And when we label this as distance, so it's just centimeters, it's like perimeter. We don't do centimeter squared, that's area, which we'll get to tomorrow. It's just perimeter. So our answer is 62.8 centimeters. So let's look at our second circle here. This circle, we weren't given a radius. We weren't told how much it is from the middle to the edge. We were told how much it is across the circle. That's called the diameter of the circle. And when you know the diameter, it's easy to figure out the radius, because all you got to do is divide the diameter by 2. So if I do 38 divided by 2... I figure out my radius is 19. Now I can use my formula. So C equals 2 times pi, but in place of pi, I put 3.14 times 19. I'm going to do the 2 times 19 first, which is 38. And now I'm going to do 38 times 3.14. Again, you could just do that with a calculator. It's fine. But if I didn't... Um, 8 times 4 is 32, carry my 3, 8 times 1 is 8, plus 3 is 11, carry my 1, 8 times 3, 24, plus 1, 25, 0, 3 times 4 is 12, carry my 1, 3 times 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4, 3 times 3 is 9, add those up, 2, 3, 9, 11, it's going to be two digits after the decimal, so we get 119.32. A lot of the time you're going to be asked to round to the nearest tenth. So I look, three is my ten spot. The next number is a two. I'm not going to round up. So my circumference is 119.3 centimeters. And that is the second example there. So you can see for circumference, you're just doing two times pi times the radius.